Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm taking a little break from climbing up the mountain today. And I thought I'd mention something about the dark network and the grid of light. The planetary grid of light these days. Uh, I just, I have this intuition that they're the same network, but that the dark network is carrying those strands of the energy of Gaia that are that are darker right now and the grid of light is carrying the bright new light okay so but it's all the same network I feel and I have just a couple of hints about the network the first is that like energies flow in the same direction together so for instance if one person is feeling sexual then the and towards a particular object of affection then other energies especially unconscious energies gut brain energies will combine with that person's uh, sexual feeling and when they arrive at the object of desire they will they will all announce themselves at the same time okay so the other thing is and this is also true of, of prayers for peace, like the global um, uh, coherence initiative, right? Did I get that right? Uh, which is, what, 65,000 strong right now? When those people all say a prayer or think a thought or of peace for a particular area of the globe, then their energies, their uplifted light energies combine and flow to the place uh, where they're hoping peace will be. So, and that, and that place is the recipient of the energies of all the people who are feeling peaceful at that moment and, and, and wanting peace for the world. So you see, it's the same mechanism. It's the same mechanism for the, what we call the dark network and what we call the grid of light. And all of that is the, is the axiotonal system of Earth just as we, our bodies of light, have axiotonal lines, so does Earth, and so do, uh, do the pathways between the stars have axiotonal lines and, and pathways of light and relative dark. Okay, it's all the same pathways, just how much light is in them. And the last thing I had to say is uh, the way that opposite energies interact on Earth right now in the dark network. Uh, when the when we get to the grid of light, the energies are much more uh, similar, and the chance of opposite interactions is much less. It's much more harmonious, you see. But here, in the, when we deal with the dark network, we have very opposed energies, what we call the victim-aggressor paradigm. That's one of them. So, if a bunch of people are thinking warlike hatred thoughts, say one person is, okay, I hate so-and-so you're thinking. <laughs> then all of the people that that person knows or uh, has seen in the grocery store or has read about who are feeling that same feeling, their, their feelings will all combine and go towards the person that this one person feels hatred for. So this person might feel completely bombarded with hatred. All right. So now if this person feels um, like running away, if they're feeling fight and this person is feeling flight, then then what happens is a kind of uh, like stuckedness or attraction or a magnetic uh, combination. So the thing to do when we are, we people who sometimes feel victimized, right? If we should feel victimized by these kinds of energies, which can be quite overpowering as our senses become more attuned to what's going on and in the lower levels of the astral plane, then the thing to do is to combine with those energies in some way until they have a chance to go past, okay? So if it's a question of, of hatred, um, you could say, even though in your heart of hearts you don't mean it, you could say, I hate you too, and then those energies will go past you. And you can go back to feeling universal love, okay? Then, uh, so because uh, the object, the, the, what the object here is that we should all learn in the fourth dimension, the astral plane, how to, um, how to co-create the new reality, okay? So a lot of people are trying to co-create with 
lesson on conditional love, if you know what I mean, which is, which is good because they're learning what to do without actually destroying Earth. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible in the fourth dimension to do that, all right? So the rest of us are learning. We're learning how to sidestep, what they call in karate, sidestepping the attack. Maybe I can find a clip of that somewhere. There's, there's a whole art to sidestepping. Well, that's it for now. Y'all take care. Love you lots. Bye.